Hello students, in this video we are going to see about assignment problems in operations research. This is the problem given. In this problem, we have to find the optimal solution for the given assignment problem with the following cost matrix. They have given 4 salesmen and 4 different areas. We are going to assign different salesmen, all the 4 salesmen to different areas in such a way that we have to get the optimal solutions. Optimal, what do you mean by optimal solution in an AP? In order to minimize the cast matrix given. We have to minimize the cast matrix. See, four salesmen are given. No, we have to assign salesmen to different areas. If you are assigning a work to a person, we have to give, we have to pay for them, right? Our aim is, we have to minimize the payment. So, in your question, Either they will ask you to find the optimal solution or they will ask you to find the optimize the cost matrix or they will ask you to find the minimum cost matrix or simply they will ask you to find the uh, to solve the given AP. So uh, for all these three questions the procedure what we are going to use the method what we are going to use is called Hungarian method. So in your problem, if they are asking you to find the minimum or solve or optimal, we have to use Hungarian method. If they are asking you to find the maximization of a given AP means, the procedure what we have to start with is different. That I will teach you in the next video. In this video, I am going to teach how to solve or how to find the optimal solution or how to find the minimum cost of the AP. Very first step what we have to start with this, we have to check the given AP is a balanced AP or not. How to check a uh, AP is a balanced AP? The number of rows and number of columns are equal means the given AP is a balanced AP. The given matrix should be a square matrix. What do you mean by a square matrix if the number of rows and number of columns are equal? Four salesmen are given and four areas are given. So, we can assign one job to one man to one area. So, such kind of problems are called balanced AP. So, in this problem, know what they have given. It is a balanced AP. So, step number one is we have to check whether the given AP is a balanced AP or not. The next step, in every row, in every row, we have to start with row wise. In every row, we have to locate the least element. And that least element, we have to subtract from all the other corresponding entries in the row. See, these are the least elements in the respective row. In the first row, 8 is the least element. In the second row, 6 is the least element. In the third row, 12. As well as in the last row, 10 is the least element. So, step number one, first you have to check the given AP is a balanced one or not. This is a balanced AP. Then, we have to start from row wise. For example, if you start with this row, 8 is the least element. This 8 has to be subtracted from all the four entries. 11 minus 8, 17 minus 8, 8 minus 8 is 0 and 16 minus 8 is 8. 11 minus 8 is 3. 17 minus 8 is 9, 8 minus 8 is 0 and 16 minus 8 is 8. Next is second row. 6 is the least element. We have to subtract 6 from all the entries. 9 minus 6 3, 7 minus 6 1, 12 minus 6 6, 6 minus 6 0. And the third row 12 is the least. 12, uh, 13 minus 12 1, 16 minus 12 it is 4. 15 minus 12 is 3 and 12 minus 12 is 0. Then 10 is the least. 14 minus 10, 4. 10 minus 10, 0. 12 minus 10, 2. And 11 minus 10, it is 1. So we have subtracted the least element row wise. The same procedure has to be done column wise. In every column, first you have to locate the least element. For example, in the first column, 1 is the least element 
second column 0 is the least element third column 0 and fourth column we have two zeros any one zero the same procedure has to be done row wise column wise so in the first column 1 has to be subtracted so 3 minus 1 it is 2 3 minus 1 it is 2 1 minus 1 0 and 4 minus 1 it is 3 since 0 is the least element in this column, if you subtract 0, nothing, nothing will happen. So, the same elements will remain, right? So, 9, 1, 4, 0. Similarly, it will applicable for the last two columns. So, both the columns will remain the same. After this, uh, these two steps, in every row and every column, we will have at least one zero. Check row wise, it has one zero. For second row also have one zero. Uh, third row is having two zeros. What I said, at least one zero. So one zero and more than one zero. And the fourth row is having one zero. Column wise also, we have at least one zero. So after this, we are going to make the assignment. How to make the assignment? We have to first, we have to locate the row which is having single zero. In the first row, we have one zero. So first, for example, if in this row, it has more than one zero means leave that row and move on to the next row. If this is also having more than one zero means leave that, move on to the next row. If all the zeros or have, uh, if all the rows are having multiple zeros means Check column wise. So our aim is we have to locate a row or column having single zero. Here in this problem, in the first row itself, we have a single zero. So what I'm going to do is here in this place, I'm going to make an assignment. For doing an assignment, we have to cover the zero within a box. So if you're making an assignment row wise means, in the respective column, if we have 0, cross that 0. But in this column, we don't have any 0. So, no need to do that. Move on to the next row. In this row, we have a single 0. So, I can assign this 0. That case, in this column, we have one more 0. Cut that 0. That means, this is area Z. Area Z has been assigned to salesman B. So, we are not supposed to assign it again in this place. One area has to be assigned to one person. We are not supposed to repeat that to another person too. For that reason only, if you are making an assignment in this place means we are crossing that zero. Is it clear? Then move on to the next row. In this row, we have we had two zeros, but we have crossed this. No, now it is not. Uh, we can't make an assignment. So only one zero is there. So we can assign this zero. In this column, we don't have any zero. Move on to the next row. It also have one zero. So we can make an assignment here. In this column also, we don't have any zero. After this step, check whether in all rows and columns, we have one assigned zero. First row is having second row, third row, fourth row. Column wise also, we have to check column, second column, third column, fourth column. Then it is done. We have uh, assigned all the salesmen to different areas. We have assigned salesman A to area Z, B to Z, sorry, salesman A to area Y, B to Z, and C to W and D to X. Now it is done. We got the optimal solution. And this way only you have to write the final answer. When we have to write first the optimum assignment what we got. The optimum assignment is A is assigned to Y. A is assigned to Y. B to Z. C to W and D to X. And the optimum cast what we have no. In these places what are the values in the given problem that we have to add. In this place we have 8. And in this place we have 6. And in this place we have 13. And in this place we have 10. Add all the 4 values. The sum what we are getting is 37. And this is the optimum assignment as well as this is the minimum cast or optimum cast what we got now that is 37. Is it clear? Thank you.